I got into painting really by accident. I remember I used to do a lot of doodling and uh, would write little bits and pieces. But it was when my future wife, Cherie, bought some paints home, uh, not for me, but for herself. Um, I grabbed them and, and started to play around with them. And uh, I cre created a few paintings and, and I looked at them and I thought, yeah, these things are okay. But there was just a natural uh, feel, a natural fit. And really, you know, the rest was history. Art's really important to me because I, I think that creative side is something that if I don't express, um, it, it sort of unbalances me. And, and if you could look at uh, like a pressure cooker, they've got that little whistle that releasing that pressure, it's a bit of that, you know, because the world's a busy place and uh, I think that keeps me uh, nice and even. It also challenges me to think, you know, about uh, uh, life and, and what's around me in a different way, you know, put my twist on things and I, I feel really good when I get it out and uh, I hope that people enjoy it. So it's a, yeah, it's a win-win thing, I reckon. What I love about this painting is that it's so simple, yeah, it's very complex at the same time and I think that's a great thing about art. If we look at the, the Ponamu or the Greenstone is that it's beautiful. Uh, it's also practical and strong and a lot of the, that is of the Māori culture and the words balance that out. If we look at too much, that's a contemporary saying of too much bro, you know it's a great thing, it's excellent, but not enough is sometimes how we approach things from a Māori perspective in that the glass is half empty, so too much, it's great, but it's not enough at the same time and I think that this is what that tells in that story. My family in my life is everything. I think without them it's the, uh, the rock that uh, keeps you grounded. Um, and uh, for me, like, I'm very lucky that I was brought up in an area that I've come back to. And uh, I have uh, a very close ties, not just with my own immediate family, but with my wife and her family. Uh, I'm very fortunate to be married and with three children. So it's a very exciting uh, growth stage in my life and I imagine that my art will reflect that as I move forward. Māori culture in my art is really important. I think because I'm still trying to come to terms with how it all fits in, in my life. I was brought up certainly in a middle class Pākehā family. Um, I did have a lot to do with uh, my Māori side but not as much as I did obviously with my Pākehā side. So for me, I'm very proud of my heritage, uh, but I'm also trying to um, work out um, how I can be a positive influence with uh, the Māori culture and my art. I see that, the, to me, the Māori culture um, look, walks into the future facing backwards, and my attitude is let's face forward and go into the future, because we have so much to offer, and I hope that I portray that message. So here we have another one of my favourite pieces and the reason being is that for this one and I think at the start of uh, uh, my painting career was that I was very naive so nothing was planned everything was just what came out of my head at, at that um, time and if we look at the painting it's all cracked and uh, I've used uh, probably uh, materials that I shouldn't have and it's bubbled and, and uh, looks quite uh, warm. But that's what I love about it, that there's a rawness to it. What I'm trying to say is uh, there's nothing in particular, and that's also good because progress undress leak, that could mean a raft of things to a raft of different people. But it's just nice how something in your head can end up there, and that's the result. I get my inspiration for my art from just living, really. Around me, uh, we live in a really conservative area, so I like to uh, play on that. and. Uh, to, to give it a real twist um, because you know I, I believe I'm not eccentric but I have a very vivid imagination so uh, I like to uh, uh, distort the reality that we have. We're surrounded by a lot of uh, dairy farmers and cows, uh, beautiful uh, scenery and the beaches and things and I like to portray that but with a twist. So for, for me the inspiration is certainly in the landscapes, uh, to the people that uh, you know, I interact with and it's just my ideas on, on the world. I believe that art is in, in everyone, no matter how big or small that makes up of your life. Because I, I think we've become um, a society that, you know, we all fit into boxes and, uh, you know, the corporate world has, has said that, you know, we must buy this and think that. And I believe uh, we need to uh, swing the balance back 
and, um, and, and think about the simple things and, and use our imagination. And I guess the best way to describe that is that, you know, for a kid you can buy them a hundred toys, but sometimes they get more pleasure playing with a cardboard box. And that's what I think art is to me. Creativity in my life is really important. Um, I think it's all about balance, and I think if we don't get that creative side out of us, then uh, we're a little bit uh, imbalanced in life. Creativity for me is, uh, it, it keeps me going. It enables me to, uh, take a break from you know the, the chaos that is the world at times. It can be a, a, a noisy place and it's amazing how you can you know be in front of a, a piece of work and you know five or six hours just disappear. But it's also about uh, using your brain. You know, I think uh, that we've given different gifts to use and, and uh, you know I really do believe that I've been given this one so I enjoy you know using it. What I like about this piece is that uh, where I live there's uh, cows everywhere and uh, I like to incorporate the written word as a cow and without hands it was important to have friends and what's this saying is that you know you've got to be tolerant friends and family you know the most important things in our lives and if we're not tolerant about the different ways that we see life and our ideals well then we won't have someone to give us a little bit of a scratch and that's what I'm trying to say here. I think my strength as an artist is that I have the ability to make people smile, make them laugh. Um, I like to incorporate words in my, uh, my work as well. I do believe that uh, my work is thought provoking. Um, I would say that uh, a, a real strength is, uh, is that I'm a bit rough around the edges. I'm not a technical painter, I'm self-taught. Uh, so my interpretation um, of what I see is, is unique and I think that creates my own style. The way I would like people to perceive my artwork is just number one is that they, they feel something about it, whether they hate it, whether they love it, that there is actually a connection on some type of level. And I don't want to be all deep and meaningful, but if the work is something that someone walks past it and has a laugh, you know, or it makes them think about their day in a different way and, uh, and uh, spurs them on to um, uh, be more positive, if that was uh, as simple as that, then that's what I would want people to take from it. So what I want to show you down here is a, a piece from the Bro series and this uh, piece is called Chur Bro. So Chur means nice one, excellent, good work and uh, I've just replaced the Chur with a chair so that's my spin on it. So if someone uh, knows the saying they'll know exactly what I'm uh, doing here. I've used a little fantail um, which is saying the Bro, it's a very iconic New Zealand bird. And over here is a shot bro, and that was the first painting I did in the series. And shot bro is another, another saying. Shot is like, also well done, good work. Um, and I've obviously shrunk that down in real life. It's a lot bigger um, painting. And that's, um, yeah, from the bro series. The legacy I would like to leave with my art is one that was enjoyed um, globally. I think with the internet today, uh, it opens up so many doors. It breaks down so many uh, social barriers out there. The internet will enable uh, people to click on and, and have a look what I'm doing. But I think for me, uh, as a Kiwi, you know, we certainly you know, are the underdogs, you know, we're a small country, um, but I believe the message that I'm trying to portray in my art is a universal message and I think that uh, no matter what culture, people get enjoyment out of it.